I'm Udin Zakaria. I'm from Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. I was a teacher for 32 years. Actually, a borderless classroom is a concept. Right? It can be many different ways to make it happen. The idea is to get these teachers and students to work outside their classroom walls. Do not just stay in the class, but they can get the information outside their school. To me, classroom is a place where they can step outside the school through virtual activities. Right, and uh, one thing that I always focus when I do borderless classroom is to make sure that gap between the students can be nailed down. Right? In that case, we have to do different activities where students are given a chance, opportunity to work with their friends outside their school compound using technology tools. Mm. Right? I started a borderless classroom with many schools, about 25 countries so, uh, for till now, and most of them enjoy doing because they are having different kind of tools to study, to work together. Uh, especially nowadays with AI, the interaction of AI, they are able to come out with uh, many different learning products using the help of the latest AI apps. And uh, like you mentioned just now, my latest uh, activity with the uh, Vietnam school, yeah, yeah. Uh, that is a very interesting one. Um, it comes from the last project, uh, so-called ASEAN School Collaboration, where I have a group of 19 schools Okay, where they bring about 900 students together to work with each with one another. All right, from this group, uh, out of 70 schools from uh, nine countries, I make I have selected. Actually, not I selected, but actually they their own uh, volunteer uh -huh. to work to work together beyond this stage. This project we have different stages. Stage one, two, three, four. Stage one is the part where we do the ASEAN school collaboration and then come the second stage where they work individually between schools, sorry, between teachers in the school and third will be the visits of the schools where the school visit each other and the last part is the teachers exchange and student exchange. For the Cambodian schools, um, it is very interesting because I found out this uh, Cambodian teachers and students, they are very hardworking. Uh, I'm very touched, especially with the students, the way they work, even though they have very minimal facilities, but they can still come out with excellent products. They go beyond their, our expectation uh, to find a way to communicate with people who have better facilities than them. For that, we decided to go beyond that. We're going to offer them another activity. This time I'm going to invite uh, eight schools, eight schools to work with another school for another country. One of the reasons, like I said, uh, to narrow down the bridge, the gap between the schools and the students especially. We want everybody to have equal chance to get the education. And with the help of friends or teachers from the other school or from the other country, we were able to share, eh, to share what we are lacking of. Right? Not only that, we can also learn about other people's culture and try to understand uh, each other's uh, way of life so that we can live in this world in a better way.